Today I will show you how to make this crazy trace on block glitch effect. Yo, it's Bobikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip of new jeans from one of their music videos and here we can instantly start making this crazy trace and blob tracking glitch effect. And I just want to say one thing, thank you for over 10k views on the trace and blob tracking tutorial. It is now my most popular tutorial so I just have to make like a little variation for it and I truly think this will be really cool. So if you want to learn how to make just the basic trace and blob tracking effect, you can go to the the tutorial I've already made it will be linked in the description and will the tutorial will basically show you that you need the rectangle tool it has to have no fill stroke and then you just need to add these 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 but I have already pre-made it for you guys don't worry I've already pre-made you an overlay that you can use to instantly get the whole trace and blob tracking effect so I have made actually two overlays I've made one today trace and blob fast overlay so you just drag and drop it and bring it to your clip and boom you instantly have have it just like that it's like a little cool trace on blob you can even like uh i don't know when you see like a person has their face here maybe let's put it here and let's go a bit further and here you can you can just adjust wherever you want it to be you know you can press ctrl shift d to cut and here you can adjust this maybe to go on here uh, and i also have linked another overlay which i had already made for the previous trace on blob tracking tutorial anyway since we have this on here and all we need to do is just pretty much just position this to wherever the person is we don't actually even need to do that. You can place it wherever you want. I think it looks really cool just like that. And what you can do on top of here is we can press Ctrl Y. And here we can add a free plugin, which is called NTCT RS. Now, I really, really like this plugin. It's like a really glitchy plugin. Everyone should have it. It's free. It just, just get it. Trust me. And I like to go down, like really down. And here I like to make the sharpen the intensity like high, like 2.76. Like to have the sharpen like this. And now the most important part about this at least for me i guess is to press t key frame the opacity here go one frame forward make it to zero now go one frame forward and make it to 100 now hold alt press on the stopwatch and type loop and then press on this loop out and press out now what this will basically do is it will make it to zero it will make it to 100 it will make it to zero it'll make it to 100 we will get this cool little glitchy i, I don't know like it flicker almost like i don't, I don't know how to say it. it i think it looks really 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 cool as a glitch like this and if you want you can also like again add another one maybe add trace and blob overlay povicas and here we can just bring it right here and for this one we can for example sure we can we can add like glow on here so we can add deep glow we can add deep glow two or deep glow one these are paid plugins by the way so just make sure to have them and yeah you're gonna get this absolutely mind-blowingly cool looking effect just like that and we have almost made like a little glitch here now to make glitches in after effects it's really difficult like i'm talking about the ones that you saw in the intro of the video it's insanely difficult to make glitches in after effects like it can take up to hours to make them because you have to keyframe a lot you have to know what to do it takes a bunch of time but you guys don't have to worry anymore i have made a glitch presets pack which lets you instantly add glitches in just one click literally one click so we can just use that pack which will be linked in the description so all you have to do is go to animation presets use your presets and once you have installed it go to glitch presets and i like to use glitch presets 24 fps because i use 24 fps you can can find your own fps here or if you don't have the similar fps just use 24 fps it works really well and here we can just press ctrl y on top of this trace and block tracker and here we can press ctrl shift d to cut this layer and i like to add personally glitch one on top of this you just double press on it and it will instantly add it now just go right here maybe and let's press ctrl shift d and delete we don't want it to extend for the full length you know now let's actually just get this trace and blob here and let's select the clip the trace and blob and the glitch so so we'll select them all right click press pre compose and here we can call it stutter because i love making stars so here we can press k and what we can do now is just press ctrl d to duplicate this and we can move one two frames forward and we can create a starter like this so it will stutter like this as you saw this is the first frame and then it starts back again and here we can press ctrl d again but this time we can press ctrl shift d here and delete this part and also go two frames forward or actually we can go even one frame forward to be fair it will also look really
really cool. And yeah, we can keep it like that and it will start a bit like this. And here you can also press Control D, duplicate it again. I really like to duplicate it, and then we can just let it end like this. And we can delete here. And let's just see how this glitch will look like. That looks really, really cool. Although, as you can see, it is really damaged. So let's go into this composition. Let's go to this glitch effect, the glitch one. One of the effects I use here was SGPEG damage. So I actually like to turn it off from here. Uh, we'll turn it off just because I don't want it that damaged. And you will get a crazy glitch. Now, okay, sure, that might have taken us a bit of time to make, you know, but we wanted to make it as cool as possible. I mean, that is actually mind-blowingly good. I just, I, I can't believe how good that looks. But once it ends, we can add more, actually. We can just go and add the trace and block fast. And here, below the trace and block fast, you can press Control Y again. And I like to add glitch 10. Let's just add it. Honestly, I absolutely adore this effect. And this is how the glitch will look like, which is actually insane. Just wow. Okay, you can use this in the craziest ways for your edits, music videos, other shoots, type of commercials. It's insane. All right, anyways, and let's go to actually a really simple clip of a bird flying, literally just a bird flying. So again, we can go back, add another tree, some blob, and here we can, if we want, we can position it so the bird stays on the frame like there, and we can just duplicate it and put it one frame forward. Let's go one frame forward again, and maybe make this go a bit maybe here. And we can just keep duplicating it uh, everywhere. We can uh, add deep glow here, you know, whatever. And I'm actually going to add some more glitches here. So I'm just going to press Control Y again and here i really like glitch 4 for these simplistic or more sim simplistic or you know like more simple types of places so here we can press ctrl should be and delete and i'm going to actually move a couple of frames forward maybe i'm going to start the glitch a bit maybe from here yeah i'm going to end the glitch right here so i'm press ctrl should be and boom and and this is what the glitch 4 will do it does this really cool i don't even know how you could call that glitch i'm just gonna be honest i, I have no idea how we can call that glitch and you can go even forward add more trees and blob trackers like we can duplicate them i really like to duplicate it like this press ctrl to y again and another really cool glitch you can add here i mean all of these are really cool but let's just add for example you know, fast forward glitch which is amazing in my opinion and for the fast forward glitch i actually like to delete the motion tile so i just like to keep it like this and this is another crazy like you know really popular glitch effect you can add here just by adding that i mean that looks insane okay wow just that little frame right there so yeah but these effects do really take hours to make and this would have been a really long tutorial if i actually just showed how to even make these so i would 100 percent recommend to go ahead and snag the pack from the poikos.com website which will be linked in the description and just as a thank you for watching this video i would also like to let you know that if you use the code glitch5 at the checkout you will save five dollars off on the glitch presets pack but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day. See ya.